I had a weird morning today. Um, woke up to this woman just outside my truck, uh, knocking on the door. She just rolled out my window to see what's up. Um, they be just a Crown Vic, like right behind me on the campsite. <laughs> so they're like, hey, can you help us out? I'm like, um, I don't carry like a tow strap or anything. I have um, a hitch. So I, I took my shovel out tried to help them out with it and just like put like rocks behind uh, the tire because convex are real wheel drive that we weren't able to do it this beach did so much it was like down to the frame so they were like looking around for people like trying to stop trucks and stuff no one would stop for them i think uh eventually there's Knocked one of these RV doors and they found a tow strap. So I brought my truck over there and just helped pull them out. It was crazy. And the guy was like, hey man, like, thanks for helping us out. Like, I have a bow in my truck. I have like a bow in my Crown Vic that, like, I don't use that you can have. Like, please take it as a uh, acceptance of our gratitude. <laughs> so. I have like a hunting bow now. <laughs> he, he told me there was no arrows in the bag or anything, but um, so yeah, man, maybe, maybe you could sell it for some money or something. I'm in mean, Vegas. Uh, there's pawn shops around. Maybe. Maybe that's what I'll do. Um, they're they're a nice couple. Um, I was happy to help them out. I just kind of took the boat because I don't want to <laughs> I feel bad, but <laughs> I, I definitely don't have space for boat in my camper, so I gotta get rid of it. So, I'm guessing I'll um, head into town, maybe find a pawn shop, see if they'll take the boat. Maybe just buy a toe strap <laughs> with the money they got what we get for it. In case they get stuck again, I think they're gonna be back. They left their tent there. They might be back um, later in the night. They might get stuck again. Who knows? The guys from uh, Salt Lake City. It's, it's kind of flabbergasted the gas prices in the bottom. I'm like, yeah, man. Uh, I looked it up too. It's, they pipe it in from California. So. California has like the craziest gas prices because they have like all these restrictions and stuff. So that's just what we're up to today. Come on, let's stay on my stand with. Um, I think I could go go into town, get some ice. Um, I'll have a phone interview tomorrow for a job. Hopefully that works out. Um, but yeah, um, I'll get going. So, went to the gold and silver pawn shop. It's kind of got famous from Palm Stars, the TV show, down near Fremont Street. And they they had no interest in the ball. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, doesn't really play in sports for hundreds of miles, so I'm, I might just toss this thing in the dumpster. It's kind of sad, but 
is what it is. I can't. I don't have any use for it. I'm not a hunter. I, I don't. Um. This is kind of dead weight in my truck. Um. I guess like best case scenario, maybe. Um. I put it. Maybe I just donate it to like Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's maybe. Maybe they'll just take it off my hands. <laughs> so that way it doesn't get put in a landfill. But um, I don't know. It's such a weird thing to give the person just, hey, here's a compound bow. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess it was a nice gesture, but I uh, our own hunt, so I have no use for it. Slippery. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I want to face it this way. Like, Am I good there or should I go a little more? A little bit more. You got it? Alright, I'll go slow. You, you, alright. Let's go go slow. Did it rip right out? Like wide around the fire pit? Yeah, yeah, just go. Or, or whatever works for you. I think I'm just gonna try and cut it right there. Okay, alright, that works. I'll, I'm gonna go slow. 